Hello, and thank you for visiting the channel again. Today we are going to discuss a basic instinct that exists in all of us, and that is jealousy. Like all other emotions, it begins in the brain, particularly in the limbic brain, which is responsible for our emotions. The human brain as we know it today is a process of generations of development that began since our ancestors. To comprehend our feelings and behaviors today, we must understand how we evolved. I will provide a simple example of evolution's role in emotions, fear. This emotion has evolved to protect us from danger, and it is essential to our survival. If a child won't intuitively feel afraid of jumping from heights or from facing a predator, he simply won't survive. On the other hand, love has evolved to help us connect with others in order to reproduce and pass on our genes. But what about the feeling of jealousy? It sounds completely pointless to our survival, so why do we have it? How does it differ from men to women? And why in general men are more jealous? Stick around and let's start. Some will argue that women are not less jealous, but a brief look at data indicates that men's jealousy outbursts are far more prominent and more deadly. In the USA, for example, about half of all women homicides are committed by their spouses or ex-partners. The murder of women on a romantic background has been committed throughout history. A betrayal of a husband was a crime punishable by death, which is called adultery, and of course, this only applies to women. Men who took the law into their own hands were acquitted and even encouraged to do so. In contrast, married men who slept with other girls were not considered adulterers. Just 75 years ago, in 1947 in Texas, Section 1225 of the Penal Code agrees that a man who found out of his wife's betrayal and murdered both her and her lover will be charged at most with justifiable homicide, which will not necessarily lead to prosecution or punishment, a bit similar to self-defense nowadays. Adultery has always been considered a justifiable reason for murder throughout history. The England law has almost always charged with killing, rather than murder, those who have murdered their wives after finding out that they had been betrayed. The ancient Greek law gave husbands the right and the authority to kill their traitor wives without going to jail. About 20 years ago, adultery was an offense punishable by death in six countries, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Iran, Pakistan, Somalia, and Sudan. The sentence was usually carried out by the biblical method, stoning. The moral and legal considerations of the feeling of betrayed husbands may have been limited in most countries, but we will soon understand its roots. Another evidence of male jealousy can be found when we examine the history of sexual control over women, as the obsession over a woman's virginity. In some cultures in the past, it was customary to show blood on the sheet as proof of virginity. If the bride wasn't a virgin, the husband is allowed to dump her, and she could even get stoned. Another example is female circumcision, in which some of the external female genitalia are removed or cut off to prevent women from enjoying intercourse so they won't cheat on their husbands in the future. Also, restrictions have been placed on married women all over the world. In the Middle Ages, European women did not have the right to roam the streets freely. If they had to go out, they had to be accompanied by an older man or woman who had to deter male courtship and report any inappropriate behavior. And if a man for some reason has to leave his wife home alone, he could impose her to wear an iron chastity belt to prevent a possible betrayal. In 11th century in China, it was customary to tie young girls' feet, which led to severe malfunction of their foot forever. Tied legs have become a must-have item of female beauty, large legs meaning the normal legs were repulsive in the Chinese culture. Women are still restricted in certain cultures even nowadays. In Iran, women are covered from head to toe. No man is allowed to see her except her husband. Saudi Arabia did not allow women to drive until four years ago. And there are endless examples throughout history. In addition to the mental restrictions on female sexuality, the patriarchy and the oppression of women, and the list goes on and on.
And all of this in order to help perhaps calm the worried husbands from possible betrayals. But what is the source of this acquisitive behavior and toxic jealousy? After all, by common sense, if a man discovers that his wife is cheating on him, the right thing to do is simply end the relationship. Why do we rarely hear about a woman who killed her cheating husband? Or on sexual historical restrictions imposed on men by women, has evolution made men more jealous? And why? So, in general, the wrath of the deceived husband and the roots of the jealous instinct are deeply ingrained in history, back to the early days of mankind. As most of you know, evolution is centered around survival and reproduction, moving our genes forward, and it both exists in men and women alike. But that is the main difference. When a woman gets pregnant, she knows for 100% that the baby she is carrying in her womb is hers. Whether she betrayed her husband or he betrayed her, it does not change that fact. She passes her genes on. Men do not have this privilege. The problem she could face if her husband cheats on her, and that is why she also feels jealousy according to evolutionary theory, the risk is that one of his adventures will become emotional and turn to a long-term relationship, and as a result, his resources will be taken away from her children. Although women today can support themselves and their children are not automatically in risk in case of the father's abandonment, in 99% of our evolutionary history, this wasn't the case. Except a woman who had an extended family who supported her, the chances of an abandoned prehistoric female to provide a good condition of security and health to her children and herself were small. As for a man, if an unfaithful wife ended up pregnant from another man, he is genetically doomed. He may waste all of his time, energy, and resources raising up another man's child without passing on his genes. In evolutionary terms, an unfaithful woman carrying another man's child is a loss of his gene array. While a woman knows for sure that the child is hers, a man can have doubts. That's why evolution has preferred jealous men, those who tended to monitor the sexual activity of their wives. Studies have shown that babies look more like their fathers than their mothers. Scientists assume that in an evolutionary process, this similarity developed between the father and the baby in order to help the father identify him as his child, and as a result, he won't doubt and won't abandon him, allowing the baby to survive. Some of you probably think that we can solve this with a pretty simple test, but this hasn't always been the case. Therefore, in general, women are attracted to status, to ensure security for themselves and their children, and men are attracted to young women because they are fertile. An important point to understand, a man does not think, my wife betrayed me, so I'm deeply hurt because my confidence in my biological fatherhood has been undermined and my genes chance to move on are diminished. It is an unconscious emotional intelligence acquired in an evolutionary process over millions of years. And even if he doesn't want children at all, this is the root of his jealousy. So this leaves us with one question. In what way does male jealousy differ from female jealousy? Dr. David Bass, an evolutionary psychologist at the University of Austin, Texas, investigated this subject and found that jealousy is indeed present in both genders, but with a slight difference. In the study, he examined a group of men and women in long-term relationships in a physiological lab, which measures heartbeat, sweating, stress level, and so on, while asking them to imagine two scenarios. In the first one, their spouse created a deep emotional closeness with another person. In the second one, their spouse enjoyed one sexual encounter with a stranger. And he found that the women showed a greater physiological response to the emotional scenario, while men to the physical scenario. In other words, men felt greater jealousy because of the threat of physical infidelity. As you know by now, according to the evolutionary theory, it happened because it threatens the certainty that a husband has over their mutual children. And why did the women feel more jealous when their husbands are emotionally attached to someone else? Because it may be an indication of losing a vital economic resource and deterioration of living conditions. Hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and stay tuned.